US guided celiac plexus block. Then in patients with chronic pancreatitis, pancreatic tail atrophy, dilated pancreatic duct, and PD stones were identified. CT features are consistent with chronic pancreatitis. Can see the atrophic pancreas, PD stones, and dilated pancreatic duct. EUS findings are also consistent with chronic pancreatitis. One can see atrophic pancreas and dilated pancreatic duct. EUS features consistent with chronic pancreatitis. So now celiac plexus block for chronic pancreatitis pain was performed. The atrophic pancreas was identified. After identifying the pancreas, celiac artery, SMA and the aorta is identified. And the area to be targeted is approach with the needle to target the celiac ganglion. So after approaching the uh, area with the needle, the medications were introduced which include injection lidocaine and steroids injection trancipolone. One can see that the area is now injected with the medications. So this area has been now injected with injection lidocaine and injection steroids. And the area has changed the echogenicity as the ganglion is being blocked. So needle is directly targeting that area and the area has been infiltrated with the medication to provide pain relief for the patient and patients with chronic pancreatitis. So after the medication, the area has changed the echogenicity one can see. So after that, e-flow guided celiac plexus block is performed. So the color Doppler mode is on. And using the same mode, the area is identified and the needle is introduced to target the area. Ganglion is identified and again the medications celiac uh, uh, to block the celiac ganglion in medications are injected which include injection lidocaine and steroid trimcicolone and the area is infiltrated with the medication which is changing the echogenicity and the ganglion has been targeted under direct vision. So this area is infiltrated with the medication and the green arrow which you will see now point to the area that has been blocked using the medication. Thank you.